In this unit, we're going to talk about what happens when a wave hits an interface. And step one is to define an interface. So a simple definition of an interface is a place where the medium, the medium is the thing the wave is traveling through. We're doing strings. So in our case, it would be strings, um, has a sudden change of properties. I didn't quite wordsmith that one so much. It's not real elegant. But yeah, just a place where the medium suddenly changes. So if we want to look at a string interface, we might think of it like this. Maybe you have your normal string here. And we know the only properties of the string we've thought about are the mass density and the tension. And those together give you the velocity. And that's pretty much all there is, the length is important if you're thinking of the entire motion of the string. But in terms of the string's properties, there's really just the mass density and the tension. So maybe that could come into contact with just a larger, heavier string like this. And those could be linked together. So if this is mu uh, low for small mass density, this might be mu high for higher mass density. But an interesting thing about strings is that if we've had it strung together, we can't actually get a different tension. So here's an example. This is the one we're going to look at. This is our normal string. And here is four of our strings bound together with some thread. So what I have is essentially a mass density increase of four. But if I have it stretched between two poles, and we're going to watch it bounce around, I can't really give it different tensions. To give it different tensions requires frictionless rings and other imaginary things. OK, so just think of it as the way we're changing our medium properties is only through the mass density. Other media, depending on what defines the media, you can change everything. Okay? But the string, the string is a little special because the tensions have to be the same for any real, real string. OK, so what we want to do is think about the force at the interface. the force at the interface. And before we go calculating that force, I want to draw a very careful contrast to what we're about to do and what we have been doing. Okay, So to drive the wave equation, we thought about the force on a piece of string. All right? So we had the wave equation. We had the string doing its thing here. And we had, we zoomed in on a curved piece of the string. And we said, OK, it has a tension this way, and it has a tension that way. And from the differences in those tensions, that's where we got the wave equation. And this thing has a mass, the mass density times delta x, because that was a finite piece of string. And we applied Newton's second law, f equals ma, to this mass. That's how we did it. That's not what we're doing now. Here, we are doing the force at an interface. So if we have a string, and think back to this shot. We'll show you again, where I shook one end, and we watched the wave go away. I shook the end, waved went away. That helped us think about how the wave equation relates uh, vibrations in time to vibrations in space. But now we can think about it again. To make, to create that wave, I had to hold the end with my hand. Um, and uh, if we zoom in, really, the end of the string looked like this. And I was applying a force to the end of the string. Okay? So I was applying a force at an interface. That interface doesn't have any mass. It's infinitely thin. The interface is not an object with mass, like we had over here. The interface is just a place in the string. So we're going to have to think about it a little different than we thought about over here. You can also think about just a place in the string and pretend 
that it has an interface. All right, so there's the string going like that. There's an imaginary interface in there. It doesn't have any mass. We're just going to think about the forces on either side of the string at that slice. And then finally, of course, there's the interface we're interested in when it gets thicker. And that interface is just a little area. It doesn't have any mass. So as we move forward calculating this force, it will do it, it'll be different. We won't apply Newton's second law.